These days, the boundary between Scotland and England, the border, is an imaginary line which stretches from berwick upon tweed across to Carlisle in the west. But in 120 AD, the line was not an imaginary one. It was a very solid one, marked by this. Hadrian's Wall. But since the, the Romans left Britain and the dividing line between North and South or England and Scotland if you want to call that nowadays has moved and it's created a kind of a no man's land, an area in limbo between the wall and the Scottish borders. There's a huge chunk of English land that lies in this area. So what we want to do on Discover Scottish Borders is begin a campaign a campaign to bring that chunk of land containing the towns of Berwick, Annick, Morpeth, bring that land back into Scottish territory. And not only that, we want to rebuild the wall. Now you're probably thinking that's a preposterous claim, a preposterous suggestion. How could they ever possibly do that? For a start, how would you fund it? How would you fund this massive project? Well, we've done our homework. We've done our sons at Discover Scottish Borders and we have came up with a great plan to fund this whole project. We'll get the English government to pay for it. We'll just say, Teresa, get the bank book out here and you're paying for this. It'll work. Now, we all know that the current Scots-English border holds absolutely no deterrent whatsoever to wave after wave after a wave of criminals that flood across that line daily from England into Scotland. Drug dealers, mafiosos, murderers, rapists, they all flood across into our country on a daily basis. We need to curb that flow. And I believe the only way we can do that is by rebuilding Hadrian's Wall. There are far more positive aspects to building this wall than just keeping out the English undesirables. The first, and probably the biggest, is job creation. Initially, construction. It's going to take a hell of a lot of skilled Scottish labour. And yes, we will be keeping the jobs in Scotland. It's us that's having to build the wall, not the English. So, construction jobs to begin with, lots of them. But once the wall is actually operational, we'll be employing lots of Scottish guys to stand on top of the wall at one mile intervals with big spears. And any time any drug dealers or that try to come over, they'll just poke them with a spear so they didn't get any Scotland life. This here was one of the last Roman forts that were constructed along the length of the wall. And this is definitely one that I would like to reopen as a fort for the Scottish workers who were guarding the fort against English. And some of you are probably thinking, there's no way, there's no way that these people from Annick and Berwick and all these wee English villages and that, that section of Northumberland would want to become Scottish. I mean, after all, they have got one of the 
or probably the greatest football team in the world at the moment, English, the English national team is it? I think it is anyway, that's what they say on the telly. So why would they want to become Scottish? I've spoke to loads of them and they do, they do want to become Scottish. Uh, why I like it, 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 it'd be canny like, you know. Build the war back up like, you know. Keep all those uh, junkies and muggers and that like, back down in England like, you know. I've always thought he must sell his uh, it's, it's Scottish anyway, like, you know. This fort here really is an awe-inspiring sight. Join us in our campaign and soon this could be embezzled with Scottish saltires and under the jurisdiction of Scottish Borders Council at Newtown St Boswells. And fully operational. So there you go. A compelling case I would have thought to make the wall. And North Northumberland, Scottish again. Please, please, get behind this. I am, of course, only joking. That was a satire, a, a spoof on recent political events in other countries. You know, I would like to think that as a Scottish borderer, I have more in common with my neighbours in North Northumberland than I do with, say, my neighbours in, in Edinburgh. Uh, and I would hope that they feel the same way we have, after all, both lived along this turbulent border for, for ancestors and ancestors and ancestors and both suffered the same violent fates. So no, I don't want to uh, rebuild Hadrian's Wall, but I do want people to come and see this through Scotland because it's absolutely breathtaking. I mean, I've never been to Hadrian's Wall before, which is terrible. I mean, it's only an hour's drive through the central borders, an hour's drive less if you live in the south with borders in general, something like that. But I've always pictured it as being a few sections of grass mound somewhere. I didn't even realise how immense a structure was still, still standing, still visible. And that's just the wall, the forts had even more to it. Mind blowing. There's nothing that hasn't been written about it that I can say just now, so I ain't going to go into historical detail, but well worth a visit and plan a whole day. Yeah, Hadrian's Wall there. The boy just it jogging along it. Joking. <laughs> what are you doing mate? You should be soaking up your bloody ancient heritage. No jogging along it. It's a bloody affront. Affront to Hadrian and the Roman army.